You guys see Olive back there? <laughs> She's in the sun. So cute. Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we are going to be doing an updated Hoya collection and I'm very excited to show you all of the Hoya that I'm growing in my home. I never realize how many I have until I gather them all up to do one of these videos. So yeah, I have quite a few, but less than my last Hoya collection video because I did get rid of several, which some of them I'm a little regretful about, but that's fine. I am very happy with where my collection is at the moment. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab them. The first one that I have to show is my Hoya Waliniana UT152. This is what it looks like. I have it in this hanging basket. Um, this lives on my canopy bed frame. And this is one of my favorite Hoya. I, I'm not even gonna say that, you guys. They're all my favorites in this video. That's why I have them. I love all of them very much. But this one I, I especially like because of how quickly it grows. Although that being said, it has not been growing for me in the winter. When it was in my Ikea greenhouse, it was like crazy explosive growth constantly. But then I moved it out and it just gets natural lighting, which tends to be pretty low in the winter time. So fair enough. However, she hasn't declined or anything like that. She still looks gorgeous. Uh, she has a couple of vines growing. Her leaves are a little different than a lot of my other Hoya leaves. Like they're quite thin. It feels like the same as like a thicker paper, I guess, but they're not like thick and juicy like a Carnosa or anything like that. They have some slight speckling. I find that they really have varied in size depending on growing conditions. Like I said, grew super well in high humidity. I don't even think I've had this for a full year yet, you guys. It's like just coming up to a year, just around this time last year, I believe is when I got it. And it was very small when I first got it. So I'm really impressed with the growth and I'm just really impressed with it in general. So yeah, Hoya Waliniana. I think that they can get kind of like purpley sun stressing as well if you grow them under really high light. Okay, next, this is a bit of a sad story. So this is my next Hoya. This is Hoya Polyneura. Um, as you can see, it is a cutting. It is rooting though. I have a few roots in here. Only two leaves, just rooting it in water. This is all that I have left for my Hoya Polyneura, you guys, because my Hoya Polyneura was actually the first plant that I noticed thrips on which is very unwell. I actually didn't even notice the thrips. I noticed the damage and I sent a photo to my friend and she said it looked like thrip damage and sure enough, that's exactly what it was. I wonder how long it would have been before I realized it was thrips if I had not sent her that photo. Probably would have been bad news bears. But yeah, uh, I eventually decided to toss my Hoya Polyneura because it was just so damaged. Like honestly, the plant just looked awful. Um, and I just decided to cut my losses and let it go. I was very stressed and overwhelmed with treating all of my plants. So I took a cutting um, and this is what I have left of it. And I'm really glad that it is rooting. And this cutting, I don't think there's like any thrip damage on these two leaves or anything like that. So I'm perfectly fine with starting plants over again. And I'm sure that this is going to do well. I find the Polyneura to be a really fast grower. I grew, I grew mine out to be a pretty lush plant a couple of times. I chopped it up once completely and then regrew it out again before the thrips happened. So yeah, it's quite a vigorous grower and I will definitely update you guys once I pop this up and then hopefully get some new growth over this spring and summer. Okay, next, this is, I think that this is the newest Hoya in my collection. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. I love this one so much, you guys. She is so pretty. This is honestly one of the prettiest Crimson Princesses I've ever seen. This used to be even more pink. These leaves over here are just so incredible. I love it so much. I do have one vine that's like pretty much all green, which is totally fine, but I can't wait to see these variegated leaves grow. Um, I haven't gotten any new growth on this vine yet. However, this vine has some variegation, but I did get a new leaf here and it doesn't look like there's any white on it. That's what it looks like. It's still very cute. This is a Hoya that I just think is so underrated. Like these are so pretty and I feel like people just overlook it because this is a Hoya that you can find at, you know, a big box store, grocery store, stuff like that. It's very common, very readily available. Um, I actually got this through a trade, which I'm very happy about. And yeah, I just, I cannot wait to see it grow. I love my Crimson Queen. So I'm very stoked to now have the princess as well. Okay, next, this is a Hoya that has not done anything for me in a hot minute, but it used to grow a lot for me. And then once I moved, it just, 
I guess it was, we were going into fall and winter and it's just been kind of chilling. I don't think, well, maybe I've gotten like one new leaf since, since I've lived here, but hasn't really been growing a ton. It does have some leaves like dangling down here at the bottom, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, this is my Hoya Shepardii. Very cute, really like this Hoya. I would love for it to bloom for me. I've seen a lot of people um, post that they get tons of blooms on their Hoya Shepardii. So maybe this spring I will get some blooms. We shall see. I just think it's so fun how it's got these long slender leaves this is also known as the string bean hoya because it obviously looks like some beans <laughs> it's just so cute i love it so much hopefully one day i have a large pot of this as well because i just think it's so unique and yeah i like it a lot okay next we have another one that has not really done much for me um in quite some time <laughs> but hopefully it'll wake up a little bit once uh spring comes this is my hoya chelsea now i have had so many people argue with me over the id on this hoya because i grew it from these leaves which as you can see do not look is this focusing there we go as you can see, they do not look very Hoya Chelsea-esque, um, but I told people like, this is what I was told it was and I trust the person who I got it from. And then it started growing new leaves and people were like, oh, okay, yeah, it does look like a Chelsea. So that's the new growth up there. But yeah, it was indeed a Hoya Chelsea. Um, I got these leaves, these two in the fall and since then has not done anything for me. I love how dark they come in though. Those leaves came in like a very deep purple, similar to the color uh, that the Hoya Crimson Princess has coming in right now. And it retained that color for quite some time. So I can't wait to get new growth on this. I think it's so pretty. So yeah, this is definitely one of my like smaller Hoya. All right, you guys, next. I'm obsessed with this one. This is my Hoya Matilde. Now I cannot I cannot even tell you guys how much I love this Hoya and how easy it has been to grow and how quickly it grows. This thing is constantly growing um, no matter what growing conditions I give it. I had this in the cabinet for a while and then I took it out of the cabinet and it's still just growing like mad. It actually has a couple of new leaves coming in at the top there. You can see those two like smaller ones, they're still growing. Um, so it has those coming in and then these two right here are also new leaves. Very cute, they're not um, finished growing yet either. Yeah, she's just always doing the most. She has so many peduncles, but has never bloomed for me. So I'm really crossing my fingers for this year. I would just be so happy if she bloomed. I got this plant about a year and a half ago as one small cutting, you guys, like one strand. And I rooted it, rooted up like a dream, um, potted it. And now this is where we are today. I have pretty much a full pot on this snake trellis. As you can see, I put it on this trellis and it was only like halfway. And now it's just like completely taken over it. So... I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. Um, I kind of wanna grow it. Well, I don't know. I kind of wanna have it trailing, but I don't know. Let me know what I should do because it's definitely outgrowing this trellis and it has pieces that are just, you know, this this was up here and I was just like growing downwards. So I don't really know where to go from here, but definitely let me know your thoughts. I just, this one makes me so happy looking at it. Um, it's just, it's so cute. I, I love it so much. I've also taken a couple of cuttings from uh, that one as well. I've taken cuttings from most of my Hoya actually, and I find that Hoya, uh, like to be cut. It will encourage new growth shoots to come out and um, they usually they usually start taking off after I cut them So I've never had a problem chopping my Hoya up Okay, I had to run back into my bedroom to get this one to show you. I cannot Look at her. Oh This is my actual pride and joy like pardon me. Look at her She is so incredible Okay, this is my Hoya Crimson Queen, you guys. She looks so bushy and lush, and that's because she is. Oh man, I feel like she's been so extra happy lately because we're finally getting some sun again. So she's been like basking in her southern facing window. Okay, so yes, my Hoya Crimson Queen, I have had her for, this will be three years this spring and I bought her in this hanging basket. Um, she was smaller, like she was probably trailing maybe up to here, but she was still a pretty lush plant. I remember paying like $60 or something. It was, I bought her from a, I got her from a local plant shop um, and she was in like beautiful condition. So I ended up splurging and getting her and I'm just so glad I did. Like honestly, for me, it was so worth it. Like looking back, 
Um, I don't normally buy large plants. Like I usually opt for cuttings or baby plants and then kind of grow them out. But this is one that I'm just really thankful that I bought as a mature, large plant because it just makes me so happy. And she's just so absolutely gorgeous. She hangs on my bed frame as well. And yeah, she just honestly brings me so much joy. I've just noticed that she has some new growth right there. Can you see that? She has a couple of new leaves coming in. Oh my goodness. Spring is coming, you guys. Spring is coming. She has on the back, she has quite a few all white leaves. They do um, usually eventually die off, but they sure are pretty and they usually stick around for like several months. So yeah, I'm very happy with her. If you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen me posting about how um, I'm really hoping this is going to be the, the year that she blooms for me because like I said, this will be my third year having her and I have never had her bloom. She did put out a peduncle on one of these vines last year and I was really crossing my fingers that she was going to bloom, but it didn't end up blooming. So we'll see if it happens for me this year. But yeah, she's just so gorgeous, love her so much. Also, if you're wondering the difference between, now I have both varieties, between the uh, Crimson Queen and the Crimson Princess, the difference is that the princess is variegated on the inside and the queen is variegated on the outside of the leaf. Anyways, yes, love her. I'm gonna go put her back now. She's pretty heavy because I've just watered her. I only water her like once every probably six weeks too, so very low maintenance. Okay, I just grabbed my other love from my bedroom windowsill. This is my Hoya Carnosa Compacta. I've heard that it's not even Carnosa. I've heard that it's just Hoya Compacta. Can anybody confirm that information? Um, anyways, regardless, this is her. And I love this Hoya so much, you guys. If you're no stranger to my channel, then you would already know that. But yeah, this plant is just like... This is honestly one of my top, top plants. Like this is like a dream plant for me. I love it so much. I can't believe how big mine has grown. Um, I've had her for probably three years, maybe a bit over, no, probably about three years, yeah. And once again, got it as a very small, I think it was like one tiny vine in a four inch pot that I found at a big box store. And I remember I was so excited, um, brought it home, started growing it, and here we are today. This has bloomed for me once. It bloomed for me for the first time last year. And I honestly could not believe it, you guys. I was so, uh, I was just enamored by this bloom. I remember posting it all the time. I was checking on it almost every single day. And it was just so wonderful. It smelled like chocolate. And that was just, that was honestly like one of the highlights of my summer was this plant blooming. It made me so happy. So I'm hoping that she'll bloom again for me this year. That would be so cool. Um, recently it has been growing quite a bit. Thought it was gonna dry off. Don't you dry off on me. Um, this vine in particular has been growing. These are all new leaves right here. And then as you can see, it's putting out a couple of new leaves on that vine right now. So that's really nice to see. It always makes me feel so good when my Hoyas are growing because I feel like most of them are like relatively slow growers. I cannot believe how much this plant has grown, you guys. Oh man, it's so crazy. Yeah, again, one of my easiest plants. I really do pretty much nothing, like the bare minimum. Um, water like similarly once every four to six weeks and it sits on my windowsill and that's pretty much all that I do. Yeah, I just love it so much. Filming this video right now is making me think that maybe I love Hoya more than I think I do. Like it's almost like sometimes I don't register that some of my plants are Hoya. I don't know, that sounds really weird. But now that I think about it, some of the plants that bring me the most joy in my collection are my Hoyas. So maybe I'm more of a Hoya head than I have previously admitted, you guys. And I also did not realize that I owned so many. I just pulled all the Hoya out of my Mills Boat Hall so that I can show you guys those ones next. And there's 15 in there. 15 different Hoya, that's crazy. Like it does not feel like I have that many. Anyways, all right, so these are all the Hoya that live in my Mills Boat Hall um, Ikea greenhouse cabinet. Okay, so the first one that I have to show you is my Hoya Caudata Sumatra. I love this one so much. I find that it's so unique and the new leaves coming in are like the cutest baby leaf I've ever seen. They're so hairy and fuzzy and it's just so fun to watch them expand. Um, I love how Hoya leaves come in like really small and then you can watch them grow and grow, kind of similar to Anthurium. Um, but yeah, unfortunately you guys, I had a mishap with this one. It had another leaf right here and I was obsessed with it. I watched it. It was the, the first new leaf that this plant had given me in my care and I was taking so many photos of it as it was growing. It was so fuzzy and cute. I loved it so much. Um, 
it was almost completely mature and then I broke it off. Oh, when I was doing a Dr. Doom thrip spray treatment on all my plants, I accidentally broke it off and yeah, I was pretty gutted. Um, but you know, stuff like that happens and I'm just gonna have to patiently wait for it to give me a new leaf. But yeah, I just, I love this one and the blooms on this one are so stinking cute as well. They're really like fuzzy looking. Um, so hopefully one day in the future it'll bloom for me and give me some more leaves. Next is this little cutie. This is my Hoya Serpents. This was a wishlist Hoya that I got last summer and it's been doing really well. Um, it's been easier than I expected. Like I always was under the impression that Hoya Serpents was gonna be really difficult to care for, really finicky. Um, for me, it hasn't been, like it's been perfectly happy. Like I said, it does live in the greenhouse cabinet so it gets pretty optimal conditions. Um, however, I do have some ha Hoya in there that are not happy, so I don't know. Oh my goodness, there's a baby leaf, you guys. You can see how cute the baby, do you see that? It's so tiny. Oh my goodness, yeah, they're so cute. They come in as these little tiny, tiny fuzzy leaves. Oh, there's two. Oh man, yeah, they are so sweet. However, I have had them die off a lot more than some of my other Hoya. Um, and I think that that's mostly due to me underwatering or maybe they get knocked. Um, that's a thing about Hoya leaves when they're coming in, like do not touch them, do not even look at them wrong. Uh, they will fall off very easily. So yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on those and be careful to not let this dry out in this time. But yeah, love it. I love the tiny round leaves and I love how dark it is. And I'm really glad that I have this one in my collection now. All right, next, this is my Hoya. What are you? Hoya. Well, I'll put the name on the screen, but this is one of my variegated Hoya. It's very pretty, has not grown for me a ton. I've gotten a few new leaves since I got it, but other than that, like it's been very, very slow growing. I think only these three leaves at the top are leaves that have grown in in my care, and I've had this for about a year. However, I kept it because I just think that the variegation is so pretty, and I think that this would look so stunning as a full plant or like going up a trellis. I have it on this moon trellis, even though it has not really grown for me. Hopefully one day it will like wind up there, but you know, just requires a little bit of patience. Okay, next we have my Hoya Croniana Silver Splash, I believe. Um, this little guy right here, I love that this is like more of a trailing Hoya. I would love to see like a full trailing basket or trailing pot of this one day. Looks like we have a few new leaves coming in, you guys, and a new branch maybe. Yeah, there's some new growth happening. Uh, if you can see like on the tip there, there's a couple new leaves coming in and a new vine it looks like so that's very exciting I have this like pretty close to the grow light in the cabinet. It's on like the top shelf thing So it gets a lot of light um, Pretty low maintenance in my experience too. Like I don't water it very often These leaves stay really firm for quite a long time. So yeah, this is kind of one that it's just been like chilling I don't really give it a lot of attention, but I feel like once it grows uh, and starts trailing more, it'll be one that I'm really drawn to and really excited about. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, next we have some of my problem children here. I still love them very much and that's why I still um, keep trying, but <laughs> they are my variegated Hoya Compacta. Um, as you guys saw, the regular green one is one of my favorite plants ever. So I was so excited to um, have the variegated version. So I have this one right here, which is the inner variegated. It's the Moana Loa. That is what it looks like. It is so beautiful, gorgeous. Um, it would probably look a lot better if I had not lost like 25 leaves on this thing since I got it. Um, it just, I have not cracked the code of what was wrong with it. I think it might've been pests. Um, so I am treating it now. Well, I'm treating pretty much everyone in my collection lately um, and it seems to be looking better. So maybe that was it. It's supposed to be easier than the just regular outer variegated version, which is why I got it. Um, and this one, you guys, oh my goodness. So this one, I have had this Hoya for so long, um, like three years. And yeah, this is how small it is. It's lost several leaves. It honestly, like, look at it. It's just like a little like bloop on the top of the pot. You can, it's not even like trailing. Like it's barely a vine, barely a vine, you guys. Yeah, this is hands down the slowest. Well, my Raven's Easy would give it a run for its money actually. 
I would still, s well, it's hard to say between the two of them which is slower, but definitely one of the slowest plants in my collection. And I'm so sad about it because all I want is for this to grow. Like I just want a long vine of variegated compacta, like the ones that Plant Me Ashley has. Like, mm, I just want it, but for some reason it just doesn't want to grow or it will grow and then the leaves will just get like wrinkled like this as you can see like up here and then they'll die off and at first i thought it was getting too much light so i moved it down away from the light and it's still doing that so i have no idea what the problem is but yeah very sad um and then back to my moana loa like i said it has been doing better recently and i don't know if you can see but i just want to show you it's getting some baby leaves right in there which is very very exciting so yeah you can see that the new leaves on the end are looking pretty healthy so i have a good feeling about this you guys um i think that we've turned a corner so yeah i'm really excited to see this grow okay another exciting one that is giving me a lot of growth lately oh my goodness this thing has so many new leaves coming in right now you guys one two three four five six seven oh man it's growing so much okay this is my hoya sunrise and she's exploding with growth right now. I don't know if you can even see, but there's little tiny leaves coming in on so many different points. Like, oh my goodness. Then there's some more coming in like way, oh, you can't really see, way down in there. You probably won't be able to see, but she has a lot of new leaves growing in. And I just noticed this the other day and got so excited because this plant was one that I was really struggling with. I actually thought I was going to lose it. So I took a propagation, rooted it as like an insurance cutting. And then um, the plant started doing better. So I ended up rooting that cutting back in. It's like these, this clump of leaves down here is a separate cutting um, that I put back in recently. But yeah, I don't know why this just like decided to be happy. It was struggling for almost a full year and then it decided to just start taking off. I don't know. But yeah, very excited. Um, I would love to get some sun stressing on this this summer as well. Obviously, it's Hoya Sunrise. It's known for like the really beautiful um, sun stressing that it can get. You can see on some of the leaves. Yeah, just excited about this one right now. Next. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. Um, so this is my Hoya Undulata green leaf i believe it was called um and this oh i just realized i have another hoya that's in my prop box um so this hoya had been it was just never doing well like i i'm not sure what the problem was but it had just been struggling for almost an entire year and just the other day it lost its last leaf it was hanging on to one leaf for like months and then it just lost that last leaf and i'm so sad because i just i really want one and it just did not do well with me i have had some people on my discord chat suggest that i take this out and put it in my prop box um to try to regrow it so i might experiment and do that and just i'm really hoping that this plant can come back somehow i've i've grown a hoya from wet stick once so maybe i'll have good luck again and that will happen but yeah very sad very sad and then the other one that i have in my prop box maybe i'll insert a photo um that was one that it was pretty much going on the same trajectory as that one but i i took it out and put it on my prop box before it lost the last leaf so it has one leaf um and it has rooted up and i am going to repot it this spring but that's another hoya that i really love that I just didn't want to lose, so I put it in there. But normally I find Hoya to be pretty easy, but sometimes it just, sometimes it goes south. I thought it was gonna be a new leaf, but I don't think so. Okay, next, this is my Hoya chicken farm, I do believe. I love how big the leaves are. Like this leaf is massive and I'm here for it. These also get really cute blooms. Um, this Hoya has not given me a new leaf. I've been growing it for almost a year and um, it did put out this vine. So I'm excited that we have this, but I just really wanna get a new leaf. It's going to be so exciting when that happens. So yeah, I don't really have much to say about this Hoya since it's literally just been chilling since I've got it. So yeah, but I am very excited for its future. All right, you guys, next I have my variegated Hoya Bellas. Uh, this is what they look like. I have, this is act actually like an oddly similar situation to my Compacta um, because I had a regular green Hoya Bella and it was like the easiest, fastest growing plant ever. Um, and then I got the variegated ones and they've done nothing but struggle. So yeah, isn't that funny that it's like the exact same situation as the Compacta. I have the inner variegated and the outer variegated and 
neither one of them are doing particularly well. So them one at a time so we can focus here. But yeah, here's the outer variegated. Um, it's given me, a, they've both given me a new vine, but the leaves just kind of look unwell and it's just never really been thriving. So yeah, there's that one. I'm treating these for pests now as well. I think that some of my Hoya like maybe had a pest that I could not see. Maybe it was the thrips, I don't know. Um, anyways, here is the inner variegated. The Louis Bois, I believe. Um, this was a new vine down here, but it ended up losing the leaves. <sighs> I really hope that I can grow these because Hoya Bella are just so beautiful and they bloom so easily and they're just really rewarding plants to grow. So I was so excited to have the variegated ones. So yeah, just send me good variegated Hoya vibes because apparently that's an issue for me. Except for this one, um, my next Hoya, which is another variegated Hoya, and this is one of my favorites. This is my Hoya Hush Kaliana Variegata, and as you can see, she is freaking gorgeous. I actually repotted this recently in one of my Repot With Me videos, um, and sometimes after you repot Hoya, they kind of like take a while to reestablish, and then they'll start growing, but she just kept growing, you guys. Like, these new leaves, or these leaves on this vine are new, and look at how big they are. Like ever since the repot, she has been giving me some big juicy leaves and you can see there's new ones coming in down there with a little bit of pink, which is so pretty. The variegation on this Hoya is just like, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's like a painting, like it has the different tones of green and then the white and the pink. It's just so gorgeous. I love it so much. Can't wait for this to grow even more. It just, it really does make me so happy just looking at it. And it's been like a relatively, well, it's been a very, oh my goodness, there's even more new growth in towards the center. There's a couple of different spots that have new leaves coming in. That's so exciting. Yeah, it's been really easy for me. Um, lives like pretty close to the grow light again on the top shelf. So it's getting like blasted and really seems to like that. So yeah, I'm just surrounded by Hoya here, you guys. Okay, next, this is another favorite. That's been my favorite for years now. Um, mine looks crazy, okay? This is my Hoya Linearis. Like this section here looks pretty. Like that's how you typically see Hoya Linearis. Like hanging nicely like this, looking real cute. But then the rest of my plant is just like crazy. Like we have vines going out everywhere. We have like weird, bare sections. I don't know. I was going to chop this up, but then I had people commenting at me not to chop it up saying like, just leave it. It'll shoot out new vines and it'll like, you know, figure itself out. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do know that I am going to be moving this out of the cabinet and into my bedroom sometime this spring. I'll probably be doing that sometime soon. I know I've been saying that for a while. I just haven't, I just haven't done it yet, but I am going to be doing it soon. Um, so I'm hoping that it's going to take that adjustment well, but yeah, I just love Hoya Linearis. Again, I just, I love any type of trailing plant and I love how fuzzy the leaves are. Like, I don't know if you don't have a Hoya Linearis, then maybe you wouldn't know that, but the leaves are really fuzzy and the stems, yeah, it's just very cute. Never bloom for me though. So maybe this year I've only had a few Hoya bloom for me, you guys. So it's very, very exciting when it does happen. Okay, next we have my Hoya Finlaysonii. Um, this is my only Hoya. I know that there's like a handful of Hoya that kind of have this like really Jurassic look. This is the only one I have in that like genre. And I feel like it's really the only one that I need. Um, this did give me a couple of new leaves last summer. I think that this was the newest one it gave me, just that little guy. I keep waiting for this to grow because it was very exciting when that happened, but it hasn't done anything for me since the summer. So I'm just patiently waiting. Um, it's, it's pretty low key though. Like I don't really do much for it. It just kind of chills. So we're both just chilling and waiting for the spring. All right, next we have my Hoya sigillatus. This is a Hoya that um, I am very proud of. This is very like slow growing for me, but I grew this Hoya back from just a one leaf, just a one leafer, and it ended up growing and doing really well. I do have it in pawn, as you can see. I think that this is my only Hoya that I actually have in pawn. I wonder if you'll be able to see any roots. Hmm, not really. This setup is probably the most low maintenance setup that you can have, honestly. All I do is add water like once every two months. <laughs> like I really don't have to do it very often, in the winter at least. Like I can't be adding water more than every six to eight weeks, I know that. 
It looks like I've maybe got a new growth point coming in right there, which is very exciting. But yeah, don't really, don't really do much. It just kind of hangs out. And I've got a new vine coming out at the top there too. So excited to see this perhaps give me some new leaves this spring and summer. Okay, you guys, we're on the last few. Thank you if you have watched this far. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Okay, so um, I have a few that are living in my Mills Bow Wide cabinet. So I'll show you those guys. Uh, so this is the first one. This is my Hoya Quinquinervia. I really like this one. The leaves are so, especially the new leaves, they're so shiny and beautiful. Um, all my plants are kind of shiny right now. I've been getting a lot of questions and it's from the Dr. Doom um, Go Green Botanics uh, thrip spray <laughs> that I've been using. But you can even see like the older leaves, they're not quite as shiny, but this is the newest leaf and it's really gorgeous. Um, this leaf is like months old though. This thing has not been growing. However, I am just noticing a new growth point, if you can see it in there. So that's very exciting. I chopped this. I did a trade in um, the fall, like September or October-ish. So I chopped this for that trade and this will be the first signs of growth since then. I just love the venation and the leaf shape. I think it's really gorgeous, really like thick and sturdy. Not a Hoya that I see like super, super often, but yeah, I do really enjoy it, so. Happy to see that new growth. And then I have my little Hoya fungi. This Hoya is the one that I grew back from a wet stick and I will forever be proud of that. Um, as you can see, we now have four leaves. There was five, but the smallest one died off. Um, I think we might just be starting to get like a tiny new growth point coming in, which is exciting. You can see it's in this like tiny, tiny little terracotta pot. Um, it's just the cutest thing. I cannot wait to watch it grow more. It's just always held like a sentimental spot in my heart because of the fact that I grew it back from this stick, which is just, it's so crazy, you guys. Like, plants are so freaking cool. Um, hasn't grown for me since the summer, I don't think. So really hoping that it's going to give me some new leaves and vines this year. And then next is my beautiful Hoya obovada. If you watched my propagation video, then you would have seen me chop this up. So I do have several cuttings of this rooting up. Um, I really wanna have like a larger full pot of this and I want it to be trailing eventually. Uh, as you can see, it's just this one vine, which is why I went ahead and chopped. It was just like this one tall vine. Um, so I cut that up. But yeah, I just love Hoya obovada. Like these big round leaves really do it for me. So pretty. I would love a variegated version. I think that was the one Hoya that I had on my wish list for this year. Um, yeah, those are just so gorgeous. Definitely like a Hoya staple. I feel like everybody loves Hoya obovada. Like, why would you not? And then you guys, the last Hoya that I'm going to show you is my Hoya Wayedii. I feel like I don't really appreciate this Hoya a lot. Maybe it's just because, <laughs> I know why it is actually. It's because I've had it living near a window um, over the summer because I haven't really had a spot for it. Like it's too big to like go in a cabinet or anything like that. So I had it in a window and it got burnt on a lot of its leaves, um, cold damage and heat damage from being close to a baseboard heater. Um, so I had to prune it back quite a bit and it hasn't really been growing. Like I don't blame it, right? It's been in like pretty crap conditions over the winter, but it still looks gorgeous. And just looking at it right now on the screen is making me fall in love with it again. So I really should show this Hoya more love and appreciation because it is so pretty, like with those dark margins, the leaves are just gorgeous. I've had this for a couple of years at least, grew it from a pretty small pot. So so we've been together for quite some time, never bloom for me. I would love to see that though, maybe this year. I have high hopes for Hoya blooms this year, you guys, like very high hopes. But yeah, it is looking better now that we're getting closer to spring. So um, hopefully we've turned a corner with this guy too. All right, you guys, that was all of my Hoya. Thank you so much if you watched the whole video. I did not expect for it to be this long. But like I said, I guess I just have more Hoya than I thought I did. Let me know what your favorite Hoya is in your collection or in my collection. Which one do you really like? All right, I look forward to reading your comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.